I made a bit of a of a move, a leap in terms of my sense of comfort technically and uh, my confidence in in manipulating the tools that I up to that point were kind of rules that I was following and trying to be true to. And then I, I just reached that more comfortable stage where I could just use them to serve whatever purposes I needed. The other thing about the Tony Randall show that um, was very important is that it was in my work on that show that I got to meet Gary David Goldberg and Hugh Wilson, who, uh, with whom then I worked so often after that and became very, very dear friends. I haven't seen Hugh in a long time, but Gary David and I are, are very close. Uh, and um, Ellen Ann McCleary uh, is, um, we've um, come in contact a few times over the years, and she and her, uh, her husband, George Gaines, have, uh, were also very dear and are very dear friends. So it's the continuation of the relationships that keep added on. Uh, Tony Randall himself was a fascinating, erudite uh, funny man and and he was also a man of the theater so i i felt a kind of a kinship with him and we had a language that we could uh, we both felt very comfortable with that he always um he always had he warmed up the audience before each episode and we always had a story about this ballerina who would have screwed herself into the ground or something uh, but I remember one night uh, before the show was about to start and he was introducing, he said, ladies and gentlemen, Egypt's answer to sitcoms, Asad Kalada. And so that was something I remember. And the other memory I have of the Tony Randall show is that I, ever since I was a boy, I always had a sweater over my shoulder. And I just stayed, I, that's what I always have. And I didn't realize that it was becoming the... Uh, the trademark that everybody said, ah, the sweater, where's the sweater? Well, I almost wore one today, and then I said, too obvious. And I remember one night I was taken completely unawares. I walked onto the set just before we were about to start, and there was a lot of laughing and tittering around the set. And I looked around, and every single person on stage from the cameraman to the prop to the crew to the act, everybody had something on their shoulder, a towel or a blanket or a sweater or something. So these were moments that I relished thinking back on, but that was the Tony Randall show.